Hi, my name is Claire. Perhaps you're like me and you have tons of files on your phone or GoPro or on disks and you'd like to give them a second life or you simply like to have a copy on your computer so in case something were to happen to them, um, you have your backup. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. I've uh, just plugged in my phone. Here we go. We can see that appearing now. So I'm going to transfer some files that are on my phone onto my computer. So that way I can have my copy or I can edit them with some software and share them with the world. So Windows by default will display this screen and if it doesn't I'll show you how to get the files anyhow. So when this window appears I like to select, on, select open device to view files and for most phones and GoPros and other such devices uh, the photos and videos will be stored in a folder called DCIM which is digital camera images so you want to double click on that and go inside camera and here are all the pictures and videos I've taken so I've got work to do so here I select the ones that I want to copy onto my hard drive I select those and drag and drop those onto my computer so here onto my desktop for example or into a folder that I might create so that's that. Now if that window didn't appear you want to go to my computer and here you'll see listed the device that was just plugged in so here's my phone. Now I've inserted also a disk with videos on it so I could use that and just select that and I can see now the, the files that are on the disk and select those and copy those onto my hard hard drive if I want to. And here we can see Windows is doing the copying process. So it's really quite simple to copy the files onto your desktop, plug in the device, and then navigate within that to find the files and drag and drop them onto your desktop or create a folder and add those. Now you, your files are there so you can have them on your computer as a backup or you can edit them or convert them to put them on disk or to upload to YouTube or maybe there's parts that you want to remove embarrassing parts of the video you'd like to remove so you might want to use some editing software to edit those parts out. So let's take a look here at some of the products VSO has to offer that you can edit your videos with. We're going to continue on this video using Convertix to Video, following through with the example to upload uh, files on YouTube and Facebook to share those. Um, so keep watching to see how to use Convertix to Video. And otherwise, click on the link that's appearing now or just below this video uh, to see a video on how to use Convertix to DVD or Con Convertix to HD. With these two products, you can convert and burn discs. Now. DVD is to convert to DVD and converts to HD to Blu-ray or AVCHD format. So these would be HD formats and those would be compatible with their likewise living room players. So let's go ahead and continue on with Convertix to Video. So I open up this product and here we want to load the file by clicking the add button or you can drag and drop the files in. Here's a graduation that I filmed this weekend, so I've loaded that, and if I want to upload the file afterwards onto YouTube, I could convert that to MP4. There's lots of different formats I could convert to, but MP4 is a good format, very compatible with YouTube. So just like that here in the list. Um, of course, YouTube and Facebook support tons of formats, but if you want a sure thing, you can go with AVI or an MP4 format. So let's say I think this video is a little too long, or I'd like to edit out the end, which I don't quite like, or the beginning. I can go into the advanced edit window, and here, for example, I can cut out the section I don't want. So here, let's say at the beginning, I don't quite like the beginning. So I say start the cut, so I've got the start cur cursor here, and then I move it on a little bit further and say, mm, it's about right there where I'd like the, the video to start. So I press end cut. And here I can play the video and see what the rest of that looks like. So I can make more cut sections if I want to. So for example, I don't like the end. Just move the cursor, press start, and then I can go ahead and move that all the way to the end and end that. So save and close. I'm ready to go. And now the file will be converted without those portions of the video. 
and I convert that up oh, and it's done perfect and here it opens up the folder as that so now if I'd like to upload that onto Facebook or YouTube it's really quite simple you want to go to YouTube you log into your account in the upper right hand corner and then you'll see an upload button so you want to click upload and here you click here to select the file that you want to upload um, here in fact there's a slideshow I did previously so I double click that and we can see that YouTube is uploading that and you can add a name here well it's already automatically added in my case you to lose downtown and then you can select the way you want the file to be shared on YouTube public unlisted private so I can see that process is done but should I have changed the name or something you can edit that and press done there we go and now we can see the link I can use to share my video with and I click on that and I can see the video playing with the new name that I edited here so it's really quite that simple and for Facebook it's the same deal you log in on the upper right hand corner and you want to press photo video and here you select the file that you want to upload and it's going to be processing right here and you might want to say something like down down to lose this weekend and here we go it's added the uploaded the file and then same thing you can publicly share it with your friends only me or some custom settings and then you want to click post Facebook will process the file and once it's done processing the file it will inform you and then you can see it live so if you'd like to check out how to convert your files onto a disk and burn them onto a disk um, go ahead and click on the link that's appearing now we're gonna go ahead and check that out um, otherwise I appreciate you watching and this was the example on how to do it with Facebook so once that's published you'll see a little notification here here we go and click on that and we can see the video is already online and you can also click on news feeds and here's that video so thanks for watching enjoy